Hey, Mark Cunningham with Grace Property Management. You know, I was recently asked by a fellow property manager, hey, uh, Mark, what, what's an appropriate, what's a normal delinquency rate? Should we be collecting 100% of our rents every month? What about 80%? What about 75? Where, where should that be? Now, keep in mind, as we walk through this, there are differences in regions. There are differences in the property class type, right? A-class properties versus C-class properties. You may have a different rent delinquency rate. But here's just a couple things to consider and what we see as industry averages on this. Number one, the first thing you need to do, if you're not, is start calculating what your rental delinquency rate is. Now, soft, some softwares do this for you, but oftentimes even the softwares, it, it kind of manipulates the numbers based upon prepaid rents and it can be confusing. So we manually track this every single month. We want to manually track what our delinquency rate is. And here's how you simply calculate it. You just need to know two numbers. The first thing you need to know is the total rents due on the first day of the month. Okay, So when the first day of the month hits and you go into your software and you charge all the rents, you charge it all up, you need to know what that number is. What is the total amount that you're charging that you're hoping to collect over the course of that month? That's the first thing you need to know. The second number you need to know is on the last day of the month, and you don't have to use the last day of the month, but, but we like that. On the final day of the month, what are your total rents outstanding? Just those two numbers. So let's pretend for a moment that on the first day of the month, you have $100,000 in rents due. That's what you're trying to collect. That's your goal. If every single person paid, $100,000. That's what you charged on day one. Now you get to, the, to month or to day 30 in the month, and you pull up a report to say, hey, how much is still outstanding? And you're showing that $10,000 is still outstanding the last day of the month. Well, here's how we make the calculation. All we're going to do is we're going to take our total delinquent rents, $10,000, we're going to divide that by the total rents that were due on the first day of the month, 100000 bucks. It's going to give us 0.1. If we remember back to uh, fourth grade math, fifth grade math, that's probably like seventh grade math for me. We take that 0.1, we multiply it times 100 to convert it to a percentage, we get 10%. So in this scenario, at the end of the month, you have 10% of rents still outstanding. Now, you need to be tracking this every month. You also need to decide on what day of the month are you going to make the calculation. So potentially you may want to say, well, I want to know what rents are outstanding on the 10th day of each month or the 15th day. We do the 30th. We Obviously, we want to collect everything we can up front on time, but we want to measure our success as it relates to the last day of the month. If we haven't collected it by the last day of the month, that's real, real bad. So we're calculating this number on the final day of each month. We're doing it month after month after month. You've got to track this because the number or the amount delinquent is interesting, but what's really useful is to know how it's progressing. Is it changing? Is it getting better? Is it getting worse? So make sure that you're tracking this. This is one of those metrics that every PM company should be tracking on a month to month basis. Now, let me give you some guidelines on what's appropriate, what's not, so you can decide how you're doing compared to the industry. Okay. So here, if you start tracking this, here is our different percentages or different classifications we can fall into. So at the end of the month, if you're between zero and 5% delinquency, which also means you've collected 95% or more of your rents, like that, that is tops. That is amazing. If you're getting 95 plus percent of rents collected, meaning your delinquency is zero to 5%, you're in the top. Wonderful, well done, great job. How about the six to 10% delinquency? That's still pretty good. From an industry standpoint, I think the quote unquote professional property management companies are often in the six to 10. Uh, some folks aren't. That, that's pretty good. I mean, if that's where you're at, you want to make it your goal to push closer to that 5%. And by the way, at the end of the video, I'll tell you exactly where we're at so you can know how uh, you measure up for what it's worth. Very good if you're in the 6 to 10. Now, what about the 11 to 20% vacancy? You know, that's okay. Uh, you shouldn't be satisfied with that. That should kind of raise an eyebrow. Maybe if you've got some real low-income housing, you're going to be in that, and that's just, that's just the way it is month after month after month. Not a great place to be, but depending on your region, depending on the types of properties you manage, that realistically may be where you are and as good as it can get. Now, if you're in the 21 to 35%, before I tell you what that is, I want to, I want to thank our sponsor for this video, Latchel. Now, Latchel, real briefly, is a sweet company that takes care of the maintenance headaches for you, right? Don't you hate maintenance calls. Maintenance calls that come in 24-7, how do you deal with them? Maintenance is one of the most difficult parts of property management, the, the business. This company created itself to take that headache off of you. If you want more information on Latchel, and I think you need to research them to determine if you want them to take your emergency calls, they can even handle your day-to-day -day calls, they can dispatch it, they can do as little or as much as you want 
on the maintenance side of things. So when this video is over, don't do it until the video is over. Go to uh, our homepage under the sponsors link. We've got some information on Latchel. Check out the little video where we explain who they are. They're worth. They are absolutely worth checking out because they will take the maintenance headaches off of you, so you can focus on more important things like getting your rental vac uh, rental collection rate up. All right, 21 to 35. That's not good. If you're over 20 percent delinquent, you can't collect it. Now remember, this is the end of the month. So by the end of the month, if you still have over 20 percent of your tenants outstanding rents, you need to tighten up your process. That's just not a that's not a survivable place for a business to be. Now what about the 35% and above? With all due respect, you need a process overhaul. Either that or just throw your keys in, get out of the business. I mean that that's that's pretty bad. There aren't a lot of companies there. Maybe when you take over a new project and it's a messy project, you're trying to clean it up, it's in this. That's probably why they've hired you. That's probably why they've changed property management companies. Now, how do you get better at these? You want to have a tight process to get better, meaning you need to have a tight process in place so that when you hit that due date on the first of the month, hopefully an email goes out, a reminder email to every one of your tenants to pay. When you hit the third day of the month or whatever your, your cutoff date is, you are charging late fees every single month, every single time. You are posting the appropriate notices as quickly as possible every month every time. You have a set payment arrangement that tenants are allowed to make, so you're not making it up every time. That way if a tenant calls and says, hey, can I pay on the 10th? You can say, well, actually, here's our process. You can pay, maybe it's something like this. You can, as long as you can pay half by the 7th, we'll let you pay the other half on the 12th, but you still have a late fee and you're still gonna get a posting, whatever it is. But have a tight process in place that you're following every time. Doing that should hopefully bump you up a category. You wanna get, you wanna get bumped up. Make this your goal. Zero to 5% is absolutely possible. For us, now, now we've been doing this a long time. We have a full-time director of accounting, and that's her only job, is to collect rents, get people to pay. So on a monthly basis, our collection rate is 99%, 99%. Now that's a, that's a combination of class A, class B, class C, some commercial stuff as well. So there's a wide variety of things in there, but we typically run 99% at the end of the month, and that's, we're happy with that. I think we're, we're super happy with that. Keep that in mind, know what it is, start tracking it for yourself so that you know what your delinquency rate is because you want to be able to tell prospective clients that as well. Hey, Mr. Client, you're thinking of hiring us. Did you know that on a monthly basis, we collect 99% of every dollar that's due to us? That's a fabulous uh, rate as compared to the industry. You need to be able to say something like that to your prospective owner clients. It'll get you more business. It'll improve your operations. If you like this information, hit the subscribe button. Don't, don't miss another one of these, but I hope that helps you improve your business.